Okay, a new mission of Battle Isle. Hmm, looks like a massive ground war. We need to cross a river. And another allied army of complete uselessness. Ooh, air vehicle. Sinus. Because that's. Someone says sinus, I think of repair vehicles. Uh, we have. Oh, the radio. It looks almost the same, but it lacks the. Sinus lacks the. Okay, at least that. I know what it is, but I can't recall the, recall the English name for it. So, part it. Five sides. Uh, same as in the pre previous. Mission. So, what are we supposed to do here? Again, we have a ton of. Uh, Utility. It looks like we have a ton of units. Our actual unit number is fairly low. We have what? One heavy tank. We have a techno tracks are totally incapable of countering air units. So yeah, our our actual armor units are very weak. So what's the mission? We are still evaluating the truth of the information which follows, but it would seem that the enemy is just in front of our leading tanks. We are now coming to the conclusion that we should not attack Titan and its headquarters directly. There are still many Kais and Parsons around. We have received news from the Ripple Commander, the Katai Chief Kelgon Grangarin. He has promised to help us in the northeastern picture. Occupy Titan is HQ. Where it is here? There's a bridge here and a bridge here. Here. I would say all the northern attempts to get into this peaceful land are probably heavily dependent. I'm a bit wary about going on the bridges because there's a seems to be at least some kind of land mass here. And if the weather goes badly those bridges might go out. They, the weather won't cause them to go out but uh, sometimes there are scripted events that destroy bridges. So if we invest a lot of units on there, lose it, lose them at any moment. I do it to Oh god damn it. Sixty one turns the limit. Uh oh, Christ. We make five energy each turn. We can produce repair vehicles, buggies, and, and aircraft tanks. We shouldn't afford... Ooh, we have a high altitude bomber. Let's both helicopters. There's not a lot of materials at the airport, but we don't have energy anyway. That we did better. Ooh, a rocket. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to give some experience to some of our units. One will be the exterminator. Uh, weather will stay good. One will be the rocket tank. God damn it, yawning. Stop it. Hmm. We need to have a. We can't pull a lot of forces 
away from the front line to training. There should be a green army there, so we're not going to do anything on this front. At least not that much. We're going to try to survive with the techno chances here. Not sure how well that'll go. Do we have any radar vehicles? No, we do have a radar though. That's bad. We don't have any kind of radar support. <laughs> We need to remove this radar vehicle. And radar vehicle, goddamn repair vehicle out of here. And you need to move there. I don't want any quick strikes through. Well, there's, I'm expecting enemy helicopters, things like that. Yeah, our situation isn't great. I would say it's actually pretty bad. I'm going to build buggies, and I can build one of them. Lovely, that's that's really useful. I might as well though. We lack that kind of ability entirely, and since we don't have any radar vehicles, we have to have units that can see. This probably has targets in the firing range, but can't see them. On this, uh, minimum range is yeah, it's a, it's a okay spot for him. use the patrol boats to spot things. I'm not going to move them in there now. I'm expecting them to push with some kind of a attack against them. I do want to do one thing. I want to keep a uh, transport helicopter in a striking range that is back to they produce a lot of units at any point, we'll go for it. All the genomes will provide cover for the helicopter. Altitude bomber. Um, this would be great. Well, not great, but useful with experience. But I'm not that keen on it. To move in to support the yellow. I'm not going to invest a lot of units for that purpose though. But I do want to send some units there. Uh, 
um, going for that crystal is very risky. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to go for it now. So we can use them to block enemies if things get bad. Um, it might be exactly what I'll do. The mine won't attack us, it's used for blocking only. But if we go up there, it'll prevent the enemy from thinking. It seems fairly useless, but at least it's an iron star and not a not a skull. Free experience for our gun, so why not shoot? It has, yeah, 15 ammunition. It's much more likely to die if you then run out of ammo. But. This looks like to be a long campaign. Hopefully, we might be able to sneak in some advantages here and there to make it a shorter one. The biggest obstacle I see at the moment is lack of intelligence. We simply don't see what we're doing. And in such the attack in such a situation would be basically require us to save and go out and then take a look and load and then act accordingly. And I don't want to play like that. Sometimes I do, but I I I, I Enjoy the game less if I have to do that. Okay, the Red had a fairly short turn. I expected a longer one. Our main enemies seem to be the the allied forces, at least at the initial phase. I'm hoping to get a few units, especially the buggies, to support the yellow and not our own effort. The reason being that the yellow has always, it doesn't have a bad initial army, but it always loses the fights he has. The, it's put in a, such a disadvantage position. If we could sort of uh, make up, let him fight, but then when opportunities arrive to kill units, attack enemy artillery, things like that, to sort of. Uh, Allow him to overcome the green, dark green. It's much better, better for us if the yellow is able to do something competent. I don't expect it to mount a, a good attack on the red headquarters, but it would allow us to sort of uh, not to have to invest so almost everything to fighting here. We could focus more on pushing forward, leaving the sweep up operations for the yellow, and we wouldn't have to divide our army to the northeast side. I don't want to divert a lot of forces there, but a few buggies with uh, maybe something to replace their ammunition would work just fine. If we would have gone for that crystal there, we would have basically lost our transport unit. They shot our boat! We need to block that bridge. Move the mine a little bit lower. I 
I don't regret letting the buggy in though, because we need to get rid of it. Can kill the snake. The mine there is in actually a good position for us because it blocks any buggy type units from attacking, so they can bring their own units only one at a time there. So it's good for us. Don't expect a lot of things to happen here for our futures. It didn't produce any units, so there's definitely no reason to try to go there now. the main spotter there already. Ah, shit. Damn you bastard. Oh, we might be able to, well, if we could, would give him more experience. We could have dropped bombs on those bridges. Things like that. But uh, no experienced Stormbringer doesn't have the firepower to destroy a bridge. It can bomb it how many times it likes. It, it'll never get destroyed. First things first. We moved a couple of units in here to give experience. That's a good enough. I'm not going to have the unit sit around in bases getting experience all day. But a little bit of experience wouldn't hurt. Especially with the rocket tanks, I might do a double take on experience. We have a ton of experience to use up anyway. Well, um, the rocket tank I'm thinking of keeping us for another injection of experience, if that's at all possible even, is that the difference between the firepower of a rocket tank with a wing and one that has almost full experience is significant. With almost full experience they can wipe out all the medium units, just go attack. firing on the samurai because I'm sort of hoping it will go there. It, it would be a strong enough unit for us if we capture it to hold, may, very likely to hold it to. One terminated it. Uh, I don't like the fact that these anti-aircraft emplacements are so weak at zero experience. Because that's the only thing they do, that's the only thing they're ever meant to do, and they don't really do it all that well. We need to shoot these. Mm, they can annihilate that. There's no way we can repair. Attack the exterminator though. Can't let it have gain experience by attacking these units that can't retaliate.
Uh, bad. We need something to block their access to our repair vehicle. It's it's probably extremely attractive target for them. It, it'll survive a single attack though. I'm not attacking the Super Varus. I want to give the experience to him. <sighs> he will be our backup need here when one of these have to pull out to get repairs. I'll probably use the exterminator when it comes out to destroy the artillery unit there. So it's a temporary problem for us. I'm not sure if I should keep this thing there for another turn. trucks with these guys, otherwise they're totally on their own. Act as a spotter for this group of hello. Can't see much. Surprisingly little. Hopefully he'll take the crystal to the factory immediately. He has some power but is severely lacking in materials. We'll use you temporarily to block access to the repair vehicle. And we're going to hope we could build a samurai. Um, no. As great as Samurais are, this is a better option for us at the moment. Long side range can go into these they're very dangerous areas because we don't know what's there to go take a look, take a hit, see what's there and go back. Samurai would be great though, because they have anti-air guns fairly Thanks to our armor in this case. Terminator signed its death warrant, no longer a concern for us. We need to get rid of all those boats though. They're good spotters and they'll kill all our boats. Yeah, Red, Red seems fairly harmless at this point. We have to keep an eye out for who starts to produce units. When light green does it, we'll have to go and check the factory. It's a good possibility he'll do it now. Yellow will wait for a turn at least.
Dark Green is a question mark. I don't know if he has production capability or just an army. Producing anything. Light green has factories, that's something we know. He controls the major area we need to attack. He has the most and heaviest ground troops. He has most air units, air and naval units too. Yeah, Blood Green seems to be our main opponent. Yeah, didn't produce anything. What can we shoot? Mines! Let's shoot the mines. We can still only do one point of damage, then that's that's sad. Yeah, you need to die. Stop looking into my units. Oh, we can do this though. Yeah, they should not be able to retaliate. Yeah. This is uh, it's a good way to oh shit, get rid of these low-tech airplanes or harass them at least. Now you're below half health, you're gonna be pulled out. Huh? Gonna go down. With one health, you're not gonna be a threat to anyone. Going to striking distance from the artillery unit to be there or there. It's probably there. As long as it is, I don't really want to go with the Patrick's. It's they're too vulnerable. Can use this as a spotter enough. We get desperate. We probably can survive one turn here, but I don't think so. Getting rid of the exterminator is nice experience boost, and it's a uh, butter destroyed. Ooh, that's an interesting. Could go and take control of that. We have still had enough fuel to bring it back here. If we need. Hey, that's um. No, they didn't. I always forgot the uh, such options with those units. 
we can give it another dose of experience. Question is, do we want to? We could use a rocket tank right now. And we probably can get the rest of the experience pretty quickly. Question is, do we bring it here? Here or move it here? I uh, have nothing heavy here. It's the fight for of the yellow, so do I want to bring another unit here? I think a heavy hitting unit here would also be fairly welcome. Exchange a demon for a ranger. I'll take that exchange. I guess we need to harass that one. I'm sure the yellow will finish him up. Well, that will, at least now, it should be easily doable for him. And no one's producing. He'll move the materials there and then produce. He has the energy lacking materials to produce anything in series. Hopefully he doesn't produce something like anti-aircraft units. Rangers, buggies, demons, all would be good. Managed to attack the buggy. It's now fairly useless. is more important at this moment. Oh, our capabilities are increasing here. We... The rocket tanks aren't going to be doing much of anything at the end. I don't know what way to attack. It's uh, I don't know what route the buggy will take. I think it'll try to go around here. So I don't want the samurai to leave there. In many ways, it's uh, much more preferred than those rockets. At least it'll get damaged just like the rest of us. I 
we need to initiate the fights. Terminators are troublesome when we don't do anything with them. You need to block that somehow. The green has even less spiders here. Uh, uh, yeah, I do need to attack the exterminators before they bring their full power against weak or you need uh, not capable of re retaliating against them. Okay, things don't look all that bad. We are certainly out, out have much more firepower than we do, but things aren't bad. Not bad at all. Produce more buggies, I guess. I'm constantly producing buggy buggies, but we only have something like three now. Uh, four wouldn't be in any way an overkill, and since they're so low experience, we need quite a few of them to kill even a weakest unit. We can throw it at our way. Overall, red doesn't seem to have all that much many groups, not yet. They're certainly not near the, near, near the front lines. Yellow will do his business uh, even as long as he just weakens the green. Why isn't he attacking anything? Okay, at least produce some goddamn units. Shooting the ranger is totally meaningless, unless you destroy it. Produce anything. Oh, we can get another ranger there. No one's producing anything, that's what's sort of puzzling me at the moment. Every, everyone seems to have the capability, but no one's bothering with it. Inthar. Yeah, light green is heavily fortified at the center here, I, I don't want to go down that way. I guess we have to I'd like to have more crown troops though. Our air air units would also suffice we could attack the targets like iron stars.
Trying to get over the bridge with those long range guns shooting at us, that's gonna be a. I didn't see it produce anything. In another turn where nothing really happens, everyone's just. sort of waiting. waiting for things to start happening. Sure. Now, they can definitely fire at this. Oh. Iron Star will continue to fire on this mine. Pretty much guaranteed. I want to cause a lot of damage to his troops now. I want to trigger a sort of a withdrawal to some of these positions. Could I capture that one? I think I could. to fly here and take a look what's happening. They have an Iron Star and an Artillery Fine. After the next turn, they probably have only one of those. Well, I think we're gonna just move a little bit closer, casually. It's in case we need... we don't really know where we need to take action. I'm not sure I want to leave. Yeah, taking that is fairly risky. I think we should try it out at least. Uh, yeah, I was expecting the Archimedes to block that, so it might be able to get through the road. It might not. It gets here. We'll definitely need. Yeah, it has no material. That's why no one's producing anything. And more importantly, it doesn't. It's not gaining any material. So there's no point in. Yeah, there's no point in capturing that goddamn place. It won't be without the crystals. It will never, never be able to. And I saved and I. Ah, watch bucket. Yeah, that that just happened. Ah, oh, well. Come on, come on, repair it.
my loot. We're gonna lose something then, we'll just have to lose it. And a bit. We do have to weaken this rocket tank too. Capturing it. No, we'll weaken the rocket tanks. It's just a matter of time before okay, they can start shooting at us. And by a matter of time, I mean about one turn. Control of that location. Yeah, buggies are at that start fairly ineffectual. for another ranger. <laughs> Guess we might as well well send it packing this way, we might be lose our ranger there. Okay, can we do anything constructive? A buggy here would be a fairly desirable thing. It won't amount to much, but it's a strike we could do without posing ourselves to danger. On the other hand, we could make a proper attack right now. Ah, We can weaken it before it starts causing trouble. Hopefully, it'll go after our infantry. Usually, they go after the softer targets. There has to be a gun either here or here. I mean, Iron Star. Doesn't have to be quite so near. Could be somewhere here. I'm I'm counting this as a loss. They might not get there, but yeah, there's a road here, there, so they and they're controlled entirely by their own use, so troll might very well reach that place. Now let's do this. Pick up a mine, pick up a soldier. Breaches with them right from scratch, so we don't have to go where the map is sort of directing us. Hmm. 
Hmm, I'm sort of afraid that he'll pull back the samurai if I don't take action on him. But if I do take action on him, we're gonna get filled with rocket tanks. Oh, I'm gonna let it stay there. We're not in a position to push through it there anyway, so we're just buying time. Time is certainly not a consideration for us, for something 60 turns to complete this, yeah. No need to hurry. I don't think the 60 turns is an expected length of the or indicates us the expected length of the map. It's just a way for the since there is a maximum turn limit on every map. It's just a way to tell them that it's not meant to be a map where you have to hurry at all. You're just you can fight without worrying about the time limit. Understand why the yellow often ignores all the enemy units. Let them just walk right through their defensive lines. Holy crap! It didn't produce anything. It just delivered the materials. It might be an issue that it can't produce a lot of things. So this isn't a map where you're supposed to replenish all losses. You can just produce a lot of weak infantry needs or things like that. So losses are meant to be more of a permanent nature. But also means we don't want to accept easily at least tough losses either. We can replenish samurais, yeah we lost it. But that's about all we can. Every other major unit is hard to replace. Airplanes might be our strongest point. Ah, crap. Yeah, the Archimedes has to die. It's much more dangerous than the Iron Star at the moment. Genium has to be pulled back, it's fairly worthless there. Ah, well, losing the Ranger isn't a, it isn't a catastrophe because we're not fighting over anything valuable there. I sure could have seen the problem immediately just by looking at it. But by the time I thought about looking at it, it was not really available anymore.
have the other transport helicopter standby. You have to keep an open mind to the thought of producing a um, tanker airplane. And I'm certainly going to save. What am I going to do with you? Go so much trouble here. We're going to have to pull in some of our rangers. We don't have any anti-aircraft units here. On the bright side, it only has five shots, and three of them are proper shots. Rest, not really. Be gone. Yeah, the Medusa. For God's sakes, you're terrible. We attack with the genome, we'll lose it, but watch it. I need. I. I. The genomes aren't all that great anyway, and I want to get rid of the exterminator much more. to safety from the exterminator. Probably too weak to cause any major casualties anymore. Doesn't mean it's not annoying. We'll need to go and get a refill. Ah, it still has buggies and defensive units here. Not totally defenseless. I'm mainly interested in destroying the units capable of capturing something. is starting to dip up quite nicely. Multiple experience units now there. Ah, these are so laughably weak. positions here, but why? Yeah, the samurai is not coming through. Just isn't happening. Yeah, go the helicopter.
It doesn't. No ammunition. I think this is the iron star. It's a good case for us to pull back for a turn though. Get repairs done on both of our main tanks. Want to in By the Iron Star, I know. Buggy. We could strike, but there's no way we can escape. This is probably a very fairly good factory because it doesn't produce any material. So if you manage to get some crystals there, you could probably produce a wide variety of units. You produce crystals. So I'm guessing that's why the transport helicopters are there. Not to invade, but to transport materials. Or not just to invade. Wonder if we can do this. damage, not a lot, but it's free experience for our Patrick's boats. We might want to sacrifice the buggy. It's a target for the their Iron Star. But they destroyed this one, the rocket tank is in a very good position to just wipe out the threat. It also provides cover for the exterminator a little bit. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. Oh, we can't pull it back. Yeah. I don't think we have any troops here, do we? I think... Mm. A meter of coughing. It'll can provide a vantage point for our artillery. I think it's going to be fairly useless, but 
never know. I think this looks quite fun. Quite fun indeed. interested in producing unit notifications who starts the uh, who starts the fight of aircrafts on the raid but the genomes will run out of gas we probably don't even have to fight them. It's not producing units. I have no idea what the yellow is thinking. He could get a lot of kills and secure the area, but he does none of that. Just moves south with no real plan. And he uses these stupid units to do the fighting. Yeah, I don't get it. But I've ex killed the exterminator with a troll that's in full condition. Get it. Yeah, he is not producing units either. I guess I need to be more mindful of such things. I so far every factory has been able to produce its own materials. That's at least to some extent. Yes, it shoot the demon. What an idiot. If so, I was sort of... Didn't even consider the possibility of... Our their units not being able to... Produce anything. It's another thing we have to check. Ooh, it produced a unit. Holy crap. God's sakes, man. Not here, though. Yeah, using a mine as a spotter, that's uh, pretty... Yeah, they're out of gas. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll still shoot at them, they're easy experience for our unit. I think we'll have to engage the Stormbringer. We should have the advantage in the long term. And we don't want them to reach our actually good unit. Better save. Probably the last turn I'll do in this session. This looks like an extended mission again, so. Iron Star is now used. Heavy rain. Okay, we need to go out of there. We're gonna be stuck. That's the basic, basic gist of things. Yeah. Suddenly heavy rain falls. Hmm. 
might as well attack it. Yeah, we're likely just giving him experience, so I think I'll leave here doing nothing. I'm hoping he'll waste his turn on these instead of doing something useful. not a lot here. capturing this one but there might be other targets here. <coughs> yeah it's a good time to end the recording anyway. Seems like I'm suffering from bouts of coughing. We'll try to It's fairly low on energy to produce things, and we're not we're not gonna use the materials here anyway. It's 30 materials. That's uh, uh, I'll make it 40. So let's see what we can produce in this factory. 40 materials with our energy will last quite a bit. It doesn't matter what we can produce there, we can produce quite a few of them, whatever they are. If it's nothing, then it's nothing.
easy experience. Risk moving. Iron Star might shoot at us, but it's not all that experience and has single health, so it's not all that damaging. I think it will actually destroy this. It's not a bad thing to do, but it's also meaningless loss to us. If we destroy that one, we could just move the mine a little bit closer. That'll shoot it, but the waste of ammunition. It frees us to move more units here to get rid of the green. might not be a bad idea. These are fairly cheap too. Uh, another repair vehicle, but it seems like we're spreading around quite, quite a bit. And that's... See the computer response. I hate the heavy rain. It's amazing how how this debilitating it is for your army functions. They have a rocket tank here. Now the, there is a land line between the yellow and the red. So it's another reason to put our forces there. And there's the AR field. I'm more interested in that airfield than anything else. And I might be with oh red producing this. Might be within our striking distance with the helicopter. Certainly we can take care of the Medusa. He's unable to fire at us at point blank range, so we can just fly there and remove it. And I have no idea what the hello is doing. It probably can't move in the mud, so it's moving into the forest. Yeah, dark green seems to be beaten at the point. 
might have a site or two there, but it can't produce anything new. Yeah, I killed the demon. Totally pointless move, but it's a kill. Terminator will run out of ammunition. Okay. Yeah, I'll end here, but I still want to take a little bit of a look. That's what's happening. I think we can invade that. Yeah, but we'll try that the next time. We'll push through here, try to get rid of the green. I'm looking for things in this factory that when we produce mirrors, so things like radar vehicles, something that's something we're missing. If not, we're going to have to just wait until we have enough energy and see if we can get a radar plane. Now that we have a, we know we can sort of uh, refill fill their fuel tanks and ammunition here. It's a much more viable option. The red should have our uh, airfield too, so... Yeah, things aren't looking at bad for us at all. But there's a... Uh, we're still going around, poking around blindly, so that's a uh, huge negative for us. I think we need to start attacking immediately after the weather improves. We'll start a major offensive push here at least. I don't think there's many units there alive anymore. But now we are to a significant extent immobile, so it's not a good time to start an offensive. We'll use this skirmish and fast mobility units to see if we can make headway, but yeah. Experience has shown us that that's not going to amount to much. We might be able to make some kind of a pinpoint strike here. But they have rangers here and things like that, so it's extremely risky. That's going to have to wait until next time.